This time on Stay Tuned, my sick Derek is on the party. Hey, welcome back to Stay Tuned. I'm Tony Angelo, and this is part two of Vice Grip Garage in Bates, Pennsylvania. Derek is up here. Uh, he bought this 67 Fairlane drag car. Mm hmm. I've uh, been sitting here, what, a year and a half? A year and a half. Yeah. It's pretty rad. It's been off the road, we think, 40 ish years, yeah. somewhere around there. And uh, we made some pretty good progress. We got an engine transmission in, but it doesn't quite do the driving. driving it doesn't thing. move yet. We got it fired up last time, and it sounds pretty healthy. Oh, it sounds rowdy. tried passing off a pretty nasty wicked up motor as a stalker with a little bit of spray paint and some mud and it didn't get past Derek for a second. Uh, but that's okay, it's cool. We're gonna get this thing running down the road. So we need to do drive shaft, brakes, clutch, you know, clutch, all the hydraulics, yeah, some kind of cooling system and fuel. It's a lot more, but we're at the goal of this episode and to, to kind of like bang this project together is to get him out on the track, ripping this thing down the strip. Yeah, and then we can, once we get it together, we should have some fun and Put some times up. What we think is going to run. I'm down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, for sure. No, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Can't wait. Plus, we got a lot of wiring to do. Don't forget about that. Yeah, the wiring is absolutely crustacular. So we we've got a, quite a few intense days ahead of us, but I'm excited about it, man. This has been so much fun already having Derek up here, and uh, we're going to keep on blazing. All right, let's get let's it. Go. Let's get after it. Look at this thing. Well, we're day three on the. What did we call this last night? The Foxy Fairlane, since we have all Fox body stuff in here. Starting the brakes, because I never got them. It's really fun. Nope. It's my favorite. Nope. Anyway, we got a master cylinder in here and uh, got that hooked up to the pedal. Still have to do the clutch, but I'm going to start with this because we have to plumb in a distribution block and the party solenoid has to go in as well. I have to figure out which pot is front. And a lot of you are probably thinking, well, it's always the front pot. Not always the case, so I bent up some lines here. Gonna just gravity bleed this for a minute, and we'll also bench bleed it here, but I'm gonna be paying attention to the piston movement and then try to figure out which is activating first for a second, which has more volume, yada, 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 yada. Then we know which one is the front to go onto this guy to do all the lines and stuff like that. Literally every single line in this car will be new. So maybe I will have brakes for the first time ever. Tony's going to slowly press the brake pedal here. I got some juice in here. And we're going to see what happens. Ready? Yep. Is that all the way down? That is. Okay, come back up. Go a little slower this time. I'll do my best. Ready? Yep. Okay, I can and see this piston moving rolling first. Rolling slow. Then that one. Okay, we're good. So front is front in this particular application. Kind of funny. I called the manufacturer and the guy literally quote said i will interweb it for you or internet it yeah i will internet it for you yeah he had no idea he's like i don't know man <laughs> it's one it's one of the two for sure right, right 50 50 shot okay so we got it so now i can spend the rest of the day it's gonna be great this headlight shit switch was not broken before i yeeted it a little hard yeah all right well Broken now. <laughs> Can you see over the dash? Not by much. <laughs> am I doing a wheel? Am I doing a wheeling? I just see his eyeballs peeping over the dash. I feel like an old lady, just some knuckles on top. <laughs> this car is surprisingly beautiful inside. Hey guys, we have a ton of stay tuned merch back in stock. All of this stuff is printed in PA by my old buddy Ralph. And uh, we've got all the classics here. We've got the, we're gonna lose the shop shirt. Stay tuned hats, Angelo's Garage Gym, the Cyclone shirt, and of course the original Stay Tuned Garage shirt. So click the link, order up some fresh threads, and we appreciate every order. All right, let's make horsepower. Derek is the master of hydraulics. I think that's an early Metallica album. It uh, is. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a good one too. And then I'm gonna dig into the wiring stuff. As you can see, this is nasty. This looks like it came off the Titanic recently. Not good stuff. We did get this thing fired up, but it's not gonna get you all, he's gonna drive away home. Yeah, I got 900 miles to go. I mean, even if we were to figure out what all this does, there's so many scotch locks and yeah. house twist lugs. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> wire nuts good. and old garbage and most of it's, which you don't want, you don't wanna be able to break your wiring. It's not a good, see that sound? Can you hear that? Not, not a good look. 
So it's cool because uh, Wire Care is not far. There's some local buddies of ours. My buddy Steve said he's got this sweet van he wants me to check out, and I said I would trade him some Pennsylvania pizza for some wiring supplies. Mm. So we're going to rock on that. Nice. You want to get started on the brakes? And yep. I will take delivery of some sweet copper cord goodies. Sounds good. I love brakes. No. Nope. Nobody does. Okay. Put that uh, reservoir somewhere too. The clutch? The clutch guy. Yeah. Here's. Here? Yeah, somewhere in there. Maybe off to the side here. Well, so are you bench bleeding and you're, you're running lines now? Yeah, I got to put the party yeah. solenoid over here. That's true. But I can put the clutch right here, maybe. That, that corner will look ripping. Serious. Just bang that in with the hammer. And Raised by stuff. Oh, you got a hammer? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Work. Something. I heard here. these cars just fall. They, when do we bring in the real mechanics? <sighs> yeah, they, uh, what do you call them? Uh, ghost mechanics? Yeah, where are they at? Yeah, they're on the way. We don't have those. <laughs> we don't have those. <laughs> That's my favorite thing on HR today. They'd be like, yeah, these guys don't do all. It's just, they bring, when, when do you bring the other guys? I'm like, there are no other guys. <laughs> yeah, this is it, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, I look 15 years older than when we started this show two years ago. <laughs> there are no other guys. I'm, it's hitting it. You got to go. The, Actually, it's more like. Yeah. Then you stop. If all goes well with the old drum drum. At least it's not the single pot of death. Have you seen those? Yeah, the worst. Oh. So like a little teapot. Yeah. Yeah, that was on my Polar originally. We got rid of that thing. Oh no, it was on the parts one. Somebody had already taken it off the car that actually drives. I'm not getting in the air out of this already. It's ready to party. Yeah. A little tiny bubbles. Just at the, the back end or the top? In the back. Just a little tiny bit. The front is bled for sure. You got a line run all the way to the back? Yep. Derek has already been rocking this morning. Um, just working on the brake lines. We've already got, he's already done the drum, new shoes all around, or mostly all around. Ish. Ish. A new master. It's all brake stuff, so it's all been basically replaced. Yeah. Wheel cylinders, all the hardware. Yeah. So we actually, uh, Zach had some nine inch stuff in his attic, I guess. So we permanently borrowed that for the rear because we didn't have the backing plates or any of the good stuff. But they're narrower, you know, Ford stuff, they're narrower shoes than the shoes that came on this four nine inch yeah it depends on what week they made it right yeah. what what, what shift and everything. In, yeah. so it has everything brand new except the shoes which i'm not worried about because they're in the rear so rock and roll oh yeah that thing is going it's moving fluid good uh, wire care dude should be rolling up in their very sweet econoline van that is super tricked out uh and they're going to deliver us all the wiring goodies we need and we're going to hit them with some proper pizza. Now listen, a lot of people are going to complain like, oh, Jersey's got good pizza too. Yes, it has good pizza too, but we know some spots. That thing is so cool. Steve, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's going on, man? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I got a whole bunch of stuff for you. Beautiful. Let's unload this thing. This thing is so cool. Dude, thank you. All right, back it Perfect. in. Will do. All right. So sweet. That patina, hand lettering, unibody. So good. Perfect. Come on. What's on, man? How you doing, buddy? Good, good. So I brought the van out. Very cool. Bring some uh, product. So yeah, so this is the fair lane. Very nice. It's Derek's it's been dormant. It's it's been what's up, buddy? How's it going? Good. Good yeah. nice to see you. It's yeah. been growing patina and mice. It's been nurturing <laughs> a lot of mice for about 30 or 40 years, we think, based on this Paps can that's sitting out front. Um, and it's, it's, you know, we have a fresh engine in there, but everything else is straight out of oh, 82. Yeah. Yeah, gotcha. or 75. Especially the wiring is super nasty. I was saying it's not that's not good. I feel like exactly. I'm not a wiring expert, Real but that can't box. be good. Yeah. Yeah. No, none of that is, but it's uh it's good because I got a whole bunch of that stuff for you. Yeah, perfect. So we'll get you all hooked up, man. Awesome, man. Here, come check uh check out a bit of what we got. Beauty. Beauty. Alright, we're gonna use it. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Yeah, we'll just pop that up. So I had a bunch of stuff from uh wire um, that we got in here. Everything pretty much from I don't know, one gauge. Uh, yeah, we need a battery cable for sure. Yeah, so this is Sweet. this is that. 
We've got uh, terminal kit for you. Is this, oh, is this ours? Yep, yep. Oh. that's yours. Zip tie. Zip tie cannons. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. You get that hooked up, let me know. Yep. This is my favorite already. Yep, we got a good one there. We got uh, some heat shrink for you. Some three to one in different cuts, different sizes. So that should come in handy with all this, uh, with all the wiring. Sweet. Your terminals. Know, yeah. Nice. Those are crimp solder easy guys. Exactly. And then also some high high temp stuff. Okay. So I think you needed some some of that. All right. Rock. But uh, yeah. I do have something special. Okay. All right. I got something special for Derek. Oh, that sounds oh, cool. Nice. I see you, buddy. So, I don't know. Uh, Derek on his ride back. I wanted to be able to give uh, Derek something to. Uh, All right. That may save his life a little bit there on, on the first ride back so we just put together a quick little uh oh nice wire kit with some tools and then you know terminals and, and stuff for you yep some fittings some uh crimpers uh what are these it's, uh, eh, who needs those <laughs> Zip i didn't know if you'd have a windshield yeah. so that That's was fair yeah give it, all right no this so, is this yeah, is actually really wire. smart you're always cutting speakers out or like fan motor wiring there, to get something a little yep it's great Thanks, man. Tape? Some, yep. Beautiful. Joist connectors, you got tape, you got terminals, crimpers. Yeah, some uh, sleeving if you need it, but not going to roll. Much That's awesome. awesome. You got it, buddy. So that. you can have a safe ride home. Very cool. All right, yeah. we're going to start knocking through this stuff. I'm going to do most of the wiring. Beautiful. Derek's going to do hydraulics next, and we're going to try to get this thing motoring down the road Love with equipment. Love it, gentlemen. Thank you so oh, much. You too. Really Sweet family. Mark has been Thank a huge supporter of the channel since the very beginning, and we appreciate him a ton. Man. And they're a little small New Jersey proper yep, family Jersey owned company. Guys, yeah, so yeah, awesome. Absolutely. We love them, Northeasters. I'll let the wire care guys leave without getting a proper slice of Pennsylvania pizza. And Derek, this is our ultimate pizza spot. This is Tornetta's in Pottstown, PA. This is old school. On Wednesday only, they do old school pies. They crank, they crank the oven up. Ooh, well, that's the hot that's one. That's the hot one. That's yeah. the hot John. You're going to love it. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. You got to hear this. Okay, yeah, just listen. And you know it's good. Gotta mm. grab one. All right. Yeah. I gotta get one with peppers. Yeah. Full hardware. Mmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. It's pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, dig in, guys. Let's so sit down. Let's sit down. Come on, come on. PA having great pizza. Oh, so it's Jersey. Though. Jersey has good pizza too. Oh, absolutely. I'm I will not pretend like Jersey doesn't have great pizza. It's solid. Oh, yeah. yeah, this place is very legit. All right, y'all. Nice. Let's dig in. Let's sit down and dig in. What do you think of this pizza? Here's the thing. I'm excited, but also heartbroken. Why is that? Because, well, first of all, this is the best pizza I've ever had in my life. But this also means I can no longer eat pizza anywhere else. Yeah. And I was just saying my feet are sweating. Like, you're worked up. You're worked <laughs> yeah. up about it. I get yeah. it. Yeah, it's, I'm it's going through very some emotions. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> I'm not used mm. to. Yeah, sometimes I'll take a bite and just look off and it's just like the night sky. I'm like, right? Oh, Everyone's like talking about stuff and I'm like, it's so good. Oh right? my God, it's so good. It's like a night <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> Woo! Like, yeah. This is hot, but it's not like super hot. I mowed through I don't know how many pieces. The vodka and lily pads one is mm -hmm. super good. Yeah. I haven't tried that one yet. I got to loosen my belt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's good, man. The chicken and Rocky Road weeds. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. so good. There's like garlic <laughs> butter or something on it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. All right, yeah, before I dig into the wiring, I'm going to upgrade this ignition system a little bit. We realize that this ready to run distributor doesn't have a rev limiter. And I feel like Derek, old foot to the floor, Derek over here gonna need size 13s don't mess around I'll tell you yeah. that An MSB pro billet set up with a 6AL and what's nice about this is I don't have to swap the gear because it comes with the steel gear on it set up for roller cam so I'm getting ready to stab this right back in there after I lighten these springs up a little bit one purple one silver that's the move, buddy. One medium, one one light. Putting in brake lines still. It's really fun. 
Uh, don't mind the roller coaster looking loopy things. They're just a fist size. That's how you can, you know, make some bends. I also got a piece of pipe here to make some 90s and things. But now we're going from the master cylinder through the distribution block. All the lines are connected for the rear and the master. This goes into the party solenoid. Now I can run an independent to the left front and the right front. Right front of which I should have done before we stabbed the engine in because now there's no room in there. So I think I'm just going to kind of drape that under the oil pan, kind of like Christmas lights on a front porch in July. And as long as it gets juice over there, we'll be good. Two more lines left and the brakes are done. So these distributors, um, you can adjust the advance curve, basically how quickly you get to full advance by changing the springs. You can also change the total range of advance by playing with these different bushings and stuff. If you're wondering, the ones that they come with will give you about 21 degrees of total mechanical advance. And that's pretty much very useful. So I'm gonna take off these giant monster doorstop springs here, uh, and I'm gonna go with one light and one soft spring, and we should be in business. There's, gonna, there's the chart. This is what Tony's talking about. If you've never seen this or done it before, so it tells you like, this is the trailer springs that are in there now. So it gives you the RPM and then this is your stop bushing. So it's like a chart. You can figure out when you want the timing to come in and where do you want it to stop based on your bushing. So we want it coming in now. Yeah, yesterday. right up idle. <laughs> yeah. And it can go, you know, wherever, basically. I think any push rod V8 is happy 34 to 36 degrees. Generally. As soon as, soon as Tony and I depart, I'm going to twist it about 42. Nice. And uh, for fuel mileage. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go one blue, one silver. So you can tell the people what that means. I'm going to leave the 21 degree bushing in it. Okay. One blue, one silver. So blue's light, silver's lighter. Light, not as light as the light one of the blue for the light. Silver's less than the blue, but they're lighter. They're both light. <coughs> this one. <laughs> It's light, and the other one's a little light, lighty, lighty, lighter, it's lightier. See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, yeah, right when this cam says, I'm going to do cam things, boom, timing. Because before it would have been like this, just lazy. And we got a 750 four barra on yeah. there. So we're going to have all the fuel and all the air. We need all the timing. Yep. And so it's nice also, if you don't have a dial back timing light or timing marks on your thing, you can theoretically just say, oh, we've got 21 degrees of advance, set the base to 12, and now you're gonna wind up Add at 33. Yeah. Exactly. Jenny S, real man of genius. Minus the tall no, Don't guy. forget to put the rotor back in. It's not gonna run so good. This stuff smells like, like big red gum. <laughs> assembly lube when you are first off you have to make sure that your gear is compatible with the type of camshaft you have this is a steel gear I know because it says s on it and it will work just fine with our billet cam and really lather it on there and then aim for the hole but this stuff smells absolutely delicious so that's weird and I made a mark Right there, that's where I'm gonna aim my rotor so I know that's where that'll line up with where the motor is and then I know where the cap generally is. We should be able to find it. The goal is to get it to sit right exactly there. All right. Can I get over one more? And uh, no. Does this have that hex pump? Yeah. It yeah. does. That's the, yeah, we're going with that. Close enough. Yeah, that's the one. All right, you ready to Stab that cap on with a big old Ford style cap on it. Beauty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be number one right there. What do you think Clint Black's doing today? I don't know. I don't know either. I think he's working on a fair lane? Probably not. We're cooler. I like that. Just Yeah, serious. It's like a big <laughs> crown in the front. <laughs> So I'm working on the last two lines of the brake system here. These are the front lines, and I don't know why Ford did this, but the rubber line faces forward from the factory, comes out, makes a turn, makes a turn. You can see the line here. Goes this way, turns up, turns over. Then There's 37 angles to make this work. 
if I had four more minutes, I would hack this tab off, clean this up, weld it on there, have the rubber hose go up, but I don't, and this hose is too short anyway. So I'm using my angle bender here. It's real nice, got it on sale. And uh, I'm just gonna start rolling in all my curves and angles, fit this across the cross member, shoot it up top, do the same to the other side, then I'll get on the top side and uh, put those fittings on. Hopefully around the same time Tony's done burning his eyebrows off back there. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna use this pipes, uh, X pipe little builder kit we've got. It's just uh, an X pipe, a couple of vent tubes. We're gonna have little turn downs and some mufflers. I'm just gonna cut it up to fit. The headers are coming off that thing at some wild angle, so it's gonna be some cutting and some welding, but it should be straightforward. All right. Well, we got the drive shaft back Come on. from the drive shaft shop. Thank you boys use Hartman. Looks nice. Yes, sir. And uh, it's about as long as you can get for a steel shaft because I'm cheap and I didn't want to spend money on an aluminum one. But it looks legit. It's beefy. It's like the girl next door. We're going to just throw this thing in and See what it it'll does. fit. But then also when these guys start gluing in the uh, exhaust, they're good. I'm going to have to slide to you. As long as we have absolutely no upwards travel, we're good. Perfect. He did say if it's not right, he can fix it tonight. So. No, it's perfect. <laughs> It'll be fine. We'll get another quarter inch here. I don't think this moves any. It's not going to throw it forward much. So well, it's going to rotate, so it's going to well, maybe lengthen it. Right. It'll wrap up. Yeah as it squishes in and pushes forward, but down, but that's back. If this is not, this will come that way instead of that. So it's good. Yeah. Is that cross and Drive shaft and rear end connected to a, a glass T5. <laughs> yeah, this is a, <laughs> the, <laughs> the middle. a good scenario. Either I'm gonna take my right leg off yeah. or the Leaf springs are going to wrap underneath the car and through the trunk. Yeah. You want the weak points to break like that, not the drive shaft or rear or clutch. That would be good. Yeah. Drive shaft loop is legit. Uh -huh. it's not I can weld a little more if you want. If we have any more welding wire in the budget, we should probably re weld the front frame back together where Buddy got a little wild on the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The oxy torch <laughs> yeah. after having a couple of slits. I think a cigarette might have fell in his pocket and he was. Not really paying attention on that one. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, most of it's there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How much frame do you need? I mean, this makes up for it. Yeah. It's all the way back there. You're gonna f the ram up. Yeah. The CPU is shot. We're man. gonna lose the tune in this thing. Are we welding these or clamping them? Weld them, please. Yeah, Weld them. Make sure you don't clean them first. Just hit it. <laughs> it's a big welder. It'll yeah. I cleaned them. Self cleaning. I cleaned the ones that have. It's like my oven. Aluminizing. Mm -hmm. Self cleaning. Oh, that's a good piece. There you go. This guy can weld. You weren't good. Did you do welding at the Southwest chassis land place? No, I'm oh. the project manager. Oh, okay. He sat in the comfy chair. He sure did. Which is yep. All right, so we've got the X pipe tacked up and in there. Barb did weld everything around on the front end of that thing. And now at the end, we're just going to run a bullet muffler, a little short piece of three inch, and then a nice three inch turn down. Nice and simple. And you see that? They fit good. They look all right. And uh, it's going to rock and roll. So, well, it'll come down with this. That one's sagged on it, so it'll be all right. Okay. Hit, I, I got a ballpark on the sag. <laughs> Just wrapped up a wild onslaught of children. We had to the shop for dinner. My three girls and Barb's son came in. 
Left us some graffiti on the floor, had a blast, liven things up, brightened our days. They climbed Derek like a giant tree, <laughs> and then uh, they hit the road. So now we're back on the exhaust. Uh, it's all basically done. We've got everything welded up. We're just going to figure out some hangers and move on to the next thing. We've still got full cooling system and full fuel system left to do, and then clutch and brake stuff. Other than that, it's Other than that we're ripping and rolling. So uh, we're got, we got the mufflers on, turndowns are in, obviously. I wanted to angle these out a little bit, you know, just so if it does smoke the tires, whew, put on a little bit of a show. And uh, professionally mounting these hangers onto the drive shaft loop that is in the incorrect position and barely hanging onto the rusty floor with two small bolts. And the hope is this lasts 900 miles. It's not. But anyway. We could say the exhaust is done here pretty soon. Just crudely welding these onto here after giving them a little yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. Easy driveway warranty on that. Wow, okay. Well, clearly I want everyone to know how serious of a street machine this is. You can't hide these back here. They really got to pop, you know what I mean? So, uh, looks like we're going, okay, this is like pumpkin orange, sure. We'll just bring that in here a little bit. And you got to hide the, the really nice exhaust, so I don't want to get over spray on that. This is looking pretty good. What have you got? Yellow would be good. Like a Lakewood yellow? Look at that. You can see this all the way from the other side of Walmart. Yeah. Keep going. Keep going? It won't, it won't soak in. It's too greasy. It just, like, <laughs> Pontiac blue. I don't know. Ooh, Chevy orange would have been better than. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, this is definitely not orange, but I'm liking it. I think someone put an orange lid on a red can. Yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> it's good though. It's the yeah. attention to detail that I really feel like makes you know, your work shine. It's yeah. really different and great. I love it. We don't want to wire wheel these for because it's a patina. See this? It's a it's an aged look we're really going for. You can't pay for that. No. Yeah. Oh, don't get the spacers though. Gotta go around them. Oh. Hit that one head on. I'm pretty excited to see if these uh, Monroe Maxes still air up. That's gonna be pretty exciting. Nice. That was good stuff. They do look better. You think about doing the inside of them or? No. Was it, we want the natural shadow or are we going to Yeah, yeah, that's good. Are we going for make a red bar here? Make them pop. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I get Oh, that's like rusting through. Tony talked me into it. Do it, do it. I just heard Dave King did one again, so this might give him a run for his money next year. I just get the hand shield up. It's pretty good. Yeah. I've never seen these stick welded with 7018 right to the axle before. <laughs> That's pretty good. There. That's nice. There you go, sir. Appreciate that. Anytime. I love it. Oh, this big red mist. Yeah, that's what it needed. It See, it. Come back here. Look at that. It does. Yeah, it really, really pops. Now the confusion starts. Why is that nice of a muffler and turn down? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? Brand new ladder bars. <laughs> we going Le Mans racing? There's two of them. We could have a 40 gallon set. <laughs> Yikes, that's awesome. All right, so one cool thing we've learned a little bit about the guy that raced this car for years. This is a Toyota fuel tank out of something or another 
and one of his buddies reached out to us and told us that's how he recognized the car. We're going to dig more into that later, and he's actually going to meet us tomorrow and give us the whole story of the car, which I'm super excited about. But as of right now, we're going to get that old rusty tank out of here and install this 20-gallon Holly cell, which is full aluminum, super nice. And again, the size of this thing is going to let Garrick really put the miles down because he's got to get all the way to Tennessee in a couple of days. There's like, you know, 9,000 other things that could explode, but at least he won't run out of gas. But they just do the flange there and that'll come right out, I think. But basically the same idea that they're doing, just with the aluminium. Mm-hmm. And then hang it. Yeah. Less mouse nestings, probably. Don't do that. You're right there? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious now. Oh, <laughs> it's like when you smell the cork in a wine bottle. Yeah, it's real good stuff. It's coming out. Now oh, there's that ninth. Wait a minute. Did we ever do the top bolts on the exhaust? Top bolts? On I the did not. I don't think so. Huh, I love good. how you squinted to think about it. Derek squinted at me, and then I was like, that's a good idea. I'll squint back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are really hard thinkers. So you don't ever have to do this again? Yeah, well, just, you know, take the old finger and just. Whew. Apparently, you need more than this. Well, the new that. one came with a gasket. This one. Somehow it was leaking. I'm so confused. That's it? All right, guys, I did something crazy here. I karate chopped all of the roofing, uh, flashing it. It was tying in this whole scenario, this, this party back here. And I've got the Holly, uh, I think it's officially called the absolutely gigantic fuel cell. Yeah. Yeah. It's a USS something. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Did, uh, you, did you explain the, the shackle? I did. And I said <laughs> we had planned on getting rid of this girder here, but it's actually holding the leaf spring up and supporting it. So that's going to stay. So now we're going to just lower this whole scenario down. Bring it down, Zach. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Quit it. Nicely done. And then I think the idea is this. we're going to put a couple of aluminum tabs off the side here. And then we'll drill it and suspend it that way, and another bar off the top or off here. I don't know. What, are these lugs? That's your rollover vent and return. It is? Mm -hmm. But right here, we'll just split the another gap. Another line, yeah, yeah. Sweet. And so essentially, we're going to hang it right in this position, and we'll be ready to rock. And then the outlets are on the bottom. We got a tab down there we'll use for the fuel pump. It'll look sweet. There'll be wires and hoses and stuff hanging out oh, the bottom. Serious stuff, yeah. race car stuff. Mm -hmm and the loudest fuel pump we can find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great. <laughs> All right, I'll find some angle iron or something. Yeah, when you flip the fuel pump on and you can feel it in the driver's seat, you're in business. <laughs> All right, we have three hours before we have to roll this Fairlane out. We don't have brakes at work. We don't have a clutch system really at all. There's nowhere for you to sit. And the fuel tank is just strapped in with some ratchet <laughs> straps. And I have to go do, I'm going to go finish wrapping notes for this week's episode, part one of the Vice Grip Saga. Stay tuned. And then uh, I'm going to come back here and thrash. Derek is already blazing ahead. I got it. I got to figure out wheels too. And tires. Oh, yeah, it has to roll on something. Yes. <laughs> it has to roll on something. <laughs> we'll get there. We got it. We got it. All right, so we got this killer uh, one piece under dash hydraulic mount from American Powertrain. They actually just developed this, it just came out. Uh, for this body of Fairlane, it hangs right off of the rod that goes through the brake pedal and the clutch pedal and then bolts into an existing hull. They give you the line pre-cut already for the reservoir to come through and they give you the fitting on the master cylinder with the fitting already on it. Tee it right into the line, you're good to go. Nice. He's going to crawl under and hang that for me because there's physically no way Dude, I could do yeah, that. Yeah, no way. And I think my wheels just showed up or something. Hey. Nice. Stuff. Some valve stems, I'll get those mounted up quick because we need something to roll on. This is the magic soap filled steel wool. Look at that. I also hit the bumper. This thing's going to come around. A little bit of elbow grease. 
I got these on the interwebs. Put those on the back with 265s, I think they're, no, 275, 6015s. So with four tens and a T5 at 70, that's 2,760 RPM. So I'll probably hold it right at 3,000. <laughs> yeah. Hit it with the Brillo pad, done. The stuff's actually designed to come off the top water. Yeah. I used some flap disc them and toothbrush. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. I use a scrub brush and water. I'll tell you this, if it rains and you don't get it off. You're done. You're done. That's it. <laughs> yeah, That's it. <laughs> you got blue letter tires. So we decided that we we're going to do a little meet and greet before this car hits the track at Maple Grove, the racetrack. And we have about 90 minutes to leave and it's full on scramble mode here. Uh, there's a few things left to do. There's a couple few things left. I'm finishing up the fan wiring, which don't look at any of that. Tony fixed the throttle thingy. Barb's got the uh, reservoir hung for the clutch pedal, but that still needs blood. We still need to bleed the brakes. We still need to put the seat in. Yeah. We've bent some things there. We'll probably weld two bolts in, call that good. And then put tires on and hood and trunk. Yeah. And then that'll, that'll be it. I think we're going to leave the fuel cell alone. We don't have time to talk about that right yeah, now. Yeah, we, and you probably shouldn't. That's called, that that's semi-permanent yeah. at this point. All right, let's get going. We don't have time for this. The brakes and the tires and the wheels and the seats and the everything. Yeah. Right, we're going to lose the shop, baby. If we don't get this done, Derek's going to lose our shop. Yep. That'll be it. Then we're going to have to move down to Tennessee. <laughs> Go again. Holding. There's a lot of stuff leaking from up leaking front. Leaking here. There it is. Oh yeah. That's good. It's got the right look. Those fronts came out crazy good. All right, lift it, open it up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, and I'm trying to like rock it on there. Yeah. Let's see. Good. Oh, so much rust in my ear. Oh, wow. That was... For now. How about the, the gun with the thing on it? <laughs> they're, they're testing it. Okay, so... Wow. What's up? You were a scoot. I think that I got to go... See the cowl. I got to come down. Well, this is even, but I got nine feet here and you're overlapped. Okay. So you got to go like this. Yep. Look at that. Look at that thing. Yes. Oh. Looks like a car again. That sucker is pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm, I've been looking at it as like, just sitting in our other shop, just like taking up space, and I'm like, ugh, and now it's a whole car. A whole decent looking hot rod. All right, we're bringing this thing down on the ground really for the first time. Seats back in it. It's got a cooling system, fuel, wiring, everything. This 67 Fairlane is ready to rip, and we have cranked on this thing. Derek has been a beast. All the stay tuned dudes have been jamming. Look at that. Look at it. That is a proper little hot rod right there. The wheels, the tires, the brakes, everything. It's been a week. Yeah, it has. Gotta, gotta scratch that, throw a bolt through. Done. 
This is uh, what I've been waiting for for a few days now is testing the air shocks and I think that actually did something. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, look at that. I think we raised a couple of inches, didn't we? Yes. If you can't shackle them up, you air them up. <laughs> Good enough. Gonna do a quick system check here before we jump in and go. Neutral. Yep, neutralis. Ignition on. Pump. Cranking. Give it a little fuel. Okay. There, there it, is. it is. You didn't want to start with me in the bathroom. We, uh, Replace the fuel log, so it probably took a second to. Okay. Okay. What are you thinking? It's good. Uh, need to call my mullet, and empty out my pockets. Yeah. And let's hit the road, get a gas station, do the thing. Nice work, bud. Likewise. shop now and take it on this maiden voyage for the first time in like 40 years. I'm super pumped. We're heading to the track. We might stop at my house and grab power crowd on the way, but I'm extremely excited. It sounds a ton better. This thing rips. Pulled right out. Let's go. Let me get a toolbox. Just, you know, then I'll test our luck. We'll take some 110. <laughs> <laughs> a couple packs of reds. You gotta. Sh Should we run this through an automatic wash? See what happens. I'm down. I don't know about the fuel cell, but I'm down. I can't wait to drive this home at 3,000. I'm up like <laughs> perfect. <right laughs>
enough to tickle your brain. <laughs> yeah. I can feel it, yeah. Sitting down here, I can feel it right, right in the bottom of my spine. We heard like a whip flash sound and something flew off. Belt is on. Hit me in the butt. I felt it. The clutch line is sit on that header. That's good. I think right there. I see that. Oh yeah. We gotta slide that down or over or up. I bet you it was a wrench. There's some washers here. Huh? There's some loose hardware here. It runs like a top, dude. This thing is just a hand. Pull that line a little bit. I can barely keep up with you. He hasn't even hit the gas yet. What? Well, you're in a slant six, buddy. This is a little, little wicked up small block. This guy says he'll pull us with a strap. The whole way there? Look at that clutch line got hammed. I'm gonna have to put a. Hello! the other side. <laughs> Is that the name? De Adele? Adele, yeah. You're going to hit it when Adele comes. Yeah, yeah. One of those in there. I don't know. I think we just left the wrench somewhere. Or that was just weakness leaving the body, buddy. Probably. All right, let's get back at it. Let's keep going. Long I want to oil pressure. It's whatever. Is that all this? You see that lifted crew cab with the stacks? Yeah. Come on. There's a 50 Chevy. There's a lowered S10. There's an 82 square body. I see a 70 duster from here. Oh, All right, bring it in, bud. So good. We're good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, here, I'm going to give you this. Shoot. Good, I'm good. We know how to make an entrance. We sure uh, did. Good about it. All right, cool. Where do you want to set up? Thanks all, everybody, for coming and waiting. Woo! Be patient. We got it on the ground today. Yeah. 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 Some about the shape back here is like. Then they were designing for so far. I believe it. Yeah, it's, it's so good. And we were having a blast. Like you know, we just just put it on the ground and drove it here. Of course, of course. I'm actually from here and I can do it. Oh, Doyle? Thanks for coming out, right? Yeah, absolutely. Should we get one of you and Derek? Yeah, 
had messaged about Fairlane and the Derek Quad. He has some information on it. Yeah, I, uh, I met the man about 1988. Um, he had the car. He's older than me. Teddy Carl. Teddy, Teddy Carl from Limerick. Um, got drafted in the Army. Came back. I don't know if he served in Vietnam, but he was in the war in that era. Yeah. Came back. Uh, I asked my dad if he remembered. He said he didn't know when he got the car. Late 60s, early 70s. Was a legend. Him, Jimmy Swar, and um, Rod Young, three guys in, in that area. But um, I guess it just progressed from there. He ended up running our gear, ran super stock with it. Had a 427 in it when I saw him, man. I never heard of Ron. I never heard of car Ron. He had a Mustang GTA, 68 Mustang GTA. But uh, we walked back in the garage. I told the guy here where it was. And, it sat in there from 1987, 88, when I met Ted, to the day yeah. he sold it. He sold it uh, February of 22, and then he passed away from my home. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he was a free race legend out like Pottstown area? Yeah, or well, high street. Kevin Priest High Street. Yeah, 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 well, they were doing it back in the 60s, too, man. And, once you got out of town, it was more rural. Yeah. That's what they really let go. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing the information. I mean, we knew someone legit on the car. Oh, it's just all, look at yeah, it. Yeah, it's serious. You knew it was an old school you know, hot rod. You so. know, back in the day, like everybody, like every gas station, every auto mechanic had a race car. And yeah. that was Ted. He was the guy in Limerick. It wasn't that big at the time. But man, he had no problem turning them, that's for sure, man. <laughs> so. Thanks, Thank you so much, man. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for the coffee. You're welcome. Yeah, this is awesome. Right, we're here at Maple Grove Raceway. We had a killer meet and greet last night. The line to see this dude was three and a half hours long. Oh, come we on. had a blast uh, just signing hands and shaking babies. It was cool. Thanks for everyone that came out. That was wild. We did yeah. not expect that. that it was, was sick. Yeah, yeah, on a <laughs> Thursday night last minute. Just, you know. It was really, really fun. We're now here with the Fairlane. They're going to let us take this thing down the track. Uh, no prep, but they're going to turn the lights on and the timing stuff. So we're going to see what it can do, this little, this little stock 302. See what she'll do. Um, we have to do a couple things, though. The fuel tank is falling out of the car. Oh, he passed that. He's good with that? He said it looks pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. How are we rocking off? That, the hood, and the trunk. I the hood we're... keeps popping up on us. There's some issue with the latch. Derek's going to go racer boy style and put some pins in it and uh we'll be rocking and rolling in no time hey what do you think about um, oh, look at you index them the same way i oh, love it oh yeah yeah you oh, gotta no. do it right if you put your pins in and one is like this and one is like this that's no way to go that's bad that's bad juju right there what do you think about maybe doing a roll race yeah with what this and whatever oh yeah yeah I'm i brought saying. my 911 i brought the power kraut that's what we call it i'm just thinking if it doesn't want to leave very goodly yeah and we don't want to rip the springs out of this and send them into the next county yeah leave them here while you try to go to tennessee maybe we roll like 20 30 <laughs> okay like street style yeah that'll work do okay you start in fourth i start in first <laughs> yeah that, that might help fair. get rid of this that was a little sketchy coming down the highway it the was <laughs> we were having so much fun too was the problem it was one of those things where like it immediately goes out of your brain that this car hasn't moved under its own power in 40 years. And you go right to, oh, this is a car. We're safe. This is cool. Derek's ripping it. 6,000 RPM down to PA back roads. There's an accent. My foot slipped. Happens. It's happens boots. to the best of us. Dude, we nailed that. First shot. Okay, now. <clears throat> what is that beeping for? Well, Just that's gotta good. got to snug it. Look alive, Zimmy. What are we measuring? Get that nitrous bottle out of there. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I can put the bolts back through the bottom. Here we go. These bolts are out. Oh, so here's the plan. We're going to take some metal strap we got from True Value or something, bend a tab down under the tank, over to here, up to there, and then I'm going to keep one of these NHRA straps to keep it from doing this way. And these straps will do this and this way, hopefully. We got a block and a jack, so I could puncture the bottom of this and break a couple welds. And um, they're taking my nitrous bottle away. I don't own that with the vice grip. That's approved. So that's where we're going to start. Get this yep. cell in. I think we're going to run it. 
We might get the trunk in, we'll see. Before we run it, but because I need the aerodynamics. I think I'm racing power crowd. Tony's working on the door. Yeah, she's done, man. This dude's a hazard <laughs> all the way. Was the lock moving when you're hitting the button? Not far enough. I'm I'm holding the I got the keys out. I'm getting it up, but it's not. Oh, you got serious. You got the, the keys out. So much torch and twisted the trail, right? That's what it was. We did feel the floor pop at one point. Yeah, the floor was <laughs> popping when you turned. Come on. Got a boy. Thank you. I can take it from there. I'm going to need three tetanus shots after working on this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's got some sharp patina on it. Grab the. You. Oh wow! Yeah, you're right there. That's the money set. You want to move a little bit forward for uh, weight distribution, and then let me give me these. Get these washers out of there. Sure. Perfect. Race car stuff. Oh, that's what this is. This is race car stuff. Yeah. I think it looks like a big U made out of aluminum. Family show. Sorry. Yeah, boy, it was a tough week. Okay, now stick it under here so we can bolt it in. Okay. You're on your own on that one. I gotta go make another one. Real small. Okay. Pack. It works? That's nice. That's good. All right. I'll drill some holes. We ready? Yeah. Okay. Go through both of them at once. This one? Let's get this done. Do this one first. Is this the right size? It's gonna be. I think we can go a scooch bigger. Where's the. Ah! These are good drill bits. Yeah. Amazon. I liked having. I liked it when we had all the whole set, but we got some left. They were new. Yeah. This. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you might have to drill holes there. Yeah. Come on. I think that's the one thing we planned was how do we be extra lazy with this strap? This strap is broken, right? Yeah. I'll use a uh, homeboy's camel strap, then you guys can take yours back. The one that's broken in half? Yeah. Sweet, thank you. You're welcome. I'll send you an invoice. Okay. <laughs> Southern hospitality. I like it, yeah, that's what, that's what they say. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. Oh, okay, well. So. That was planned. You gotta have some gyration. That was a, a torture test. I think we'll just take the... Anybody got a welder? <laughs> Weld those straps right to that thing. You'll be in business. <laughs> uh, nope. Ratchet strap it is. We got a, that plus the straps will be We got right. a map torch and some solder. Anything. It'd be great. That honestly would be great. Here, we got a torch. Got a torch. How hot do you think you can get this gas before we... Uh, <laughs> you know, because it's full of 20 gallons of gas. Did you guys fill it? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. We got to get here, buddy. <laughs> Well, that and traction. You want to do some like sideways thing or something just to go the other way? I think we just run this bad boy. A little front back action. Right here. You got enough to do the strap all the way around the front to back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's camouflage, you know. They'll never see it. Tech guy will never see it. He said it passes. It's even better now. Look at this. Remember to get, get the metal on there. So it's going to cut it. We got the. I think this is the big pressure point. All right, that's what cut it last time. That lip up. Uh, do you want to grab that rag soaked in kerosene? We'll yeah. Just throw that on here. Put that in there. Give me another one. That's a tad. Oh wait, that one's good. That one's fine. That ain't going nowhere. All right, we got Derek 67 Fairlane out on the track. We're here at Maple Grove for the first time. I'm super pumped. The car sounds great. We drove it here last night. It's basically without a hitch. Oh, it was perfect. I mean, yeah. uh, nothing other than the hood, which is just a, not yeah. even a thing. That's like optional anyway. And we're stoked. He's going to run this thing down the track for the first time in probably 40 years and see what it can do. Uh, the fact that we got all the history on the car last night at the meet and greet and just hearing how much of an animal this thing was and terrorized the streets around here and raced here, 
This is really cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah, awesome. All right, we'll get in there and let's do something. All right. <laughs> We've also got power crowd here. Zimmy brought his famed Napa truck that's got a nasty small block in it. We'll get to that later. But right we, now, get in that thing and let's see what it can do. So let's start I'm, with burnouts. We're going to do a uh, let me rip, and then we're going to figure out what to wager. Yeah, that's like right. who shaves the beard. Perfect. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Oh, I can't do that. Let's see if we, got some, we might still have some of those nose waxing kits. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that's good. Dustin, you want to spin it in there? It's in the water? You're in it. with a terrible launch. We'll take that. Is there a leaf spring on the ground? For real? What? I'm sorry, what? It's been sitting in there, but... <laughs> the springs are still in it. I'm just saying, it kept going straight, so... Yeah. I was, yeah. Right. Uh, awesome. 13.9. <laughs> At 102, so we'll take it. That was rad. Well, we get the he sat here, sat here forever and spun in the second yeah. gear. That's a 12 second car, right? almost. Almost, yeah, 101 though. I think he let out of it. He let out of it a lot. I don't know if it's the one on his car. I hope not. It might have just been sitting there. We heard someone flying last night that sounded like it would have been maybe another Here's one of these. The other side. This is way but from when, yeah, all right, here we go. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to need that. Let's go, yes. bud. That felt pretty good, actually. Do you, know, you know what it did? I'm going to, I guess, high 13s. 1395, spin yep. in second. Yeah. The good news is that's what it did. The bad news is I think the shackle came out or something. You left this on the track. But maybe it's <sighs> optional. Well, I heard something. In, <laughs> yeah, I might need that. Oh, my God. That's it's not there. These must have been old, man. Those are the factory ones. You put the lightweight ones on. These are not factory. This is when the car is probably five feet off the ground in the back. Uh, it does. All right, Derek had his first run down the track in probably 40 years, and it ran 13.95, which is killer. You know, we're expecting a little bit quicker, but that's just awesome that it went down straight. He was spinning in the first and second, so it's going to go a little bit quicker, but I'm just blown away by how good it sounds. It's shifting. It's seeing some action, and it's just I'm feeling good here out today. Just that thing is awesome, and I'm stoked. He's gonna try it again. Try to go a little bit faster, a little bit quicker. I feel like that car fits him. He was on it. Seven and 103. Awesome, dude. It sounds faster than that, but it sounds awesome. <laughs> he did a pretty good job there leaving, I thought. <laughs> He's slower at the 60 foot there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we built, we, we revived that thing in four days from sitting for, you know, almost half a century to getting it down here. It has been a long, intense week, and it feels pretty good to watch that thing run and hear it sing, man. <laughs> Ouch! It's good. It felt faster. There you go. A little quicker. 60 foot's a little slower. You can still get that out of the hole a little better. I was 13, trying to pedal seven. it a little. 13.7? Nice! 103. Yeah, I figured we'd get some mile per hour because I'm letting her sing. Letting her go. Bit. It sounds <laughs> yeah. awesome. Dude, it's so good. It's so fun. You want to drive it, dude? Sure. I think you need to. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah, yeah, go I drive it. I haven't even sat thing. in the seat yet. Yeah, you're going to have to tighten the belts a little bit. Okay. All right, yeah, I'll give it a whip. So we'll uh, get up here, let him take this thing for a rip, and then we're going to try to figure out some fun matchups. Right, it's my first time even sitting in the fair lane. I'm stoked, you know. This is just a rad car with a ton of history. I'm here at Maple Grove. This is the last place it ran. It feels really special. And I'm gonna try not to uh, embarrass myself. See if I can go, you know, see how quick we can do this thing.
around 15. He's gonna wanna run that again. I mean, you don't know where the clutch is, how the brakes work, and the fact that it wants to hit this wall when you're trying to go straight. Those are things you just gotta pick up on over time. And then when, if you push and pull, the column lifts like two inches. So you gotta kinda work with that too, you know? It's a blast. I hear some clunking. You realize that whenever you let Tony drive anything, that it reduces yeah. the chances it was, of it was the, hashtag for it. It was the largest <laughs> comment was, don't let Tony drive it. Yeah. <laughs> I did that once. It's not been 15 minutes, he no also, Tony. He also just put it at eight grand trying to go into third gear. Well, if that rocker is leaving the chat, I guess we'll find out. That should have finished it off. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Tony things. Sounds fine. Sure. It's kind of running on eight. We got a problem. Yeah. Man, I'm sorry. I think most of third gear is sitting in the bottom of this transmission now. <laughs> so you didn't miss it. You just no, ripped it out. It left. I didn't miss it. It missed me. But we still have force. You got the rest of them, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, didn't we do one, two, four last night? You did. But We're good. Okay. Let's run them. What do we got next? You, right, you want to drive this 911? <laughs> well, I don't need that for anything. I'm good. I'm good <laughs> on that. Home today. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it feels legit, man. It it's just like, feels 80s, and it's like it's pretty decent. Like when you hammer on it, it's just going. Yeah. It's it's a good car, and you're like in this. It, it sounds whew, so good. So good. Yeah. By the time you go through the boards, you feel like. You're in the 80s, actually. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's I mean. like a full-on time warp. Yeah. Okay, so we got no third gear. No. You got the rest of them, though. So now do we... Man. That's a four-speed. I really want to kind of run it, but if I get lose fourth, then I'm really in a pickle. I mean, it's making... No, I, don't, I think we should maybe try to change it out. No? What? No. Okay. <laughs> we'll try to find one and, like, change one? Doesn't your... Didn't your guy that said this one's gonna break also have one that said he's yeah he's the wrong direction break? he's like in New York, but there is a guy out here isn't there with a bunch ton of T5s out west remember that ad with all those T5s? Yes. We did throw this thing in in like 15 minutes. Yeah. All right. So now that I have uh, destroyed the T5 in this thing, we're gonna keep on rocking. It's a fun day here at Maple Grove. I've got the power crowd. Uh, Zach is bringing up his buddy's Napa truck, which is, runs like low 11s. He wants to run against the power crowd, so he'll probably smoke it. But uh, one of the reasons we're letting him come out and have some fun is that this is Zach's last day here at Stay Tuned. Zach, I'm telling him you're leaving. It's been an awesome time. Hey, buddy. But he is gonna have a nice, nicer commute. We're gonna hot rise by his house. He's got a, like an hour plus commute. And uh, yeah, we're gonna stay friends forever. Sorry, buddy. And I'm sure he'll be back at some point, but it's been awesome. Uh, Russo! Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you. are awesome, buddy. dude. We Thanks for all the help this week. Not me call you Kenny all week. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Because I'm Kenny now. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Your new place. You tell him you're Kenny. All right, you want to run these things? All right, let's yeah. do it. There you Woo! go. Big emotional goodbye. Well, we got uh, basically an LS versus a 358 small block, so they're pretty similar displacement. You got fuel injection versus car, rear wheel drive versus rear wheel drive, rear engine versus fronter engine. This is such a bizarre matchup. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I think the truck might ink them out because it's built for this, where the 911 does everything, or the 9.53 or whatever we're calling it. Yeah. But it's going to be fun to watch regardless. It's going to be really cool. Hopefully, all third gears remain intact. Yep. Charlie. We got we got a 1960 foot out of the Porsche or is it Porsche I'm not quite sure I don't have a vest on so I'm thinking I'm just gonna say Porsche and then a 1560 out of the S10 8 to the 8th 7 to the 8th for the uh, S10 and 12.3 to 11.3 one second difference and six miles an hour that was cool 
really underestimated that thing. We're gonna have to run that one back. I don't know. Seriously underestimated the 911. Dude, I'm staring at his taillights. I was like, no shot. There's not in a million years am I getting there. Not happening. What's the word? This thing ran pretty good, man. He was coming for sure. No, dude, I left. I was like, no shot. <laughs> You're there. I'm not getting there. Oh. All right, so. Essentially, I was exactly one second slower than Zach's time. So instead of him giving me another head start, we're going to do a one second delay at the tree bracket race style. So essentially, if we both run our perfect race, we will get at the, at the finish line at the same time. So it's whoever does a better job leaving, right? I'm getting this stuff, yep, bracket racer guy. He's the bracket racer guy. And I'll see. It'll be one last rib. It'll be so fun. You ready? Good. All right, let's do it. I'm excited. I also, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Let's go. Let's go. A little less than that. Yeah. That's fun. Zach was just playing with them. That's cool. Tony got a little, uh, that would have been tough. He had to go from reverse back to first because he had to get the, the stage lit up. But that was fun watching. Pretty consistent time, 12-4. So I think, I, I think we're out of time here. Now we got to do transmission stuff. The truck ran the same exact 60 foot. A little bit slower on the Porsche, but man, it's still fast. 12-4 at 115. Okay, let's go ruin our lives with wrenches. Sweet. I gave it back. I started ripping it and I was like, ah, I can still stay ahead of him. What happened? That was a mess. That was a mess. I gave it back. I was like, oh, I'm out in front. Ah. Yeah, I like I was in reverse. I went this my top stage light went off because I'm like street tire pressure and no prep. It didn't stay there. It just went like just walked in. So I went in reverse. I reversed it in and it was like yellow, yellow, green. And I was like, Ugh. this has been an epic time with Derek up here in Pennsylvania. We have force fed him every Italian food we can get our hands on. It's been epic. It's been uh, a lot of fun. Man. Thanks for coming up, man. Yeah. I love the car. This has been such a blast. Long, loud, fun night. You know, yeah, in the shop. like I was talking earlier, it didn't really feel like work though. I mean, it was some long days, but it was just a lot of fun. Things back in the street, it's back running on Maple Grove. Now I gotta try to get home. Yeah, we're gonna scramble, try to find this guy a transmission, and you'll have to watch that on Vice Grip Garage on YouTube. But uh, right now, this is it for this episode of Stay Tuned. Thank you so much. Thanks to Derek. We love you, Zach. Barb's over there, he's cool too. See you, Kenny. See, See you, Kenny. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right, buddy. Please like and subscribe.